question. So, quick question here. I don't know if Jason's probably gone by this point. What's sexier, cat's nose or Jason's lovely glasses? Um, well, I, yeah, I'd have to say cat's new nose mm. because I always asked, I, well, I asked Jason once, you know, to take off his glasses because I don't like it because it reflects on the camera and you can't see his eyes. Mm. So I think he's funnier without his glasses. Uh-huh. But I asked him to take his glasses off and he told me, uh, like, I go, you know, take them off. You have ha- you haven't had glasses your whole life. Like, just for the show, take them off. Right. And he's like, I can't because when I take them off, I get this huge headache. I'm like, okay, we'll <laughs> just have to live with it. Uh, so I, I have to go with Cat's new nose is sexier than Jason's glasses. Mm. Yeah, for such, sure. Such an interesting question. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's my highlight question, and I don't know how you beat it, ma'am. I'm done for the day. It's I'm your done. signature question. <laughs> so, What's your favorite curse word? <laughs> oh, don't, don't, don't go that far. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, now going back to three kilobytes, there's been so many different highlights you could talk about about the experience of three KB. The, I mean, I'm sure early on, all the pessimists who were saying, "Oh, look at these three assholes doing uh, still say video that. game reviews." They still say that. <laughs> they still say that, but like, I'm talking family members here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, now from that to where you are now, what to you is so memorable? Or you look back and you say, "This is why I love doing this, and it's why it's one of my favorite moments of my life." I'll look back and say, "I remember when I used to do that." <laughs> Like telling all my grandchildren, I'm yeah, my kids, but like telling all the kids, like in my old age home, like, yeah, <laughs> I was on three kilobytes and I had three bums, or like, <laughs> okay, um, so the question is, what's like the most memorable moments of yeah. three kilobytes? The happiest moment, either one of those. Well, for, for the biggest success would be being on Philip DeFranco's show, mm. or on his show, uh, like totally awesome, yeah. And, you know, him, you know, just interacting with him, offering us, you know, a job, a position, mm-hmm. a permanent position. Mm-hmm. Um, also, before that, the Paranormal Activity review, our first review with me and Jay, which was a little a huge success for us because we never made a YouTube video. And all of a sudden, boom, we got 10,000 views on a review, Yeah. Uh, which is pure luck. <laughs> and um, after that would be the Red Dead Redemption review. Mm. Um, I think also is cool just developers talking to us like oh I made this game and I loved your review on it you mm. totally got it I think that's cool right. I think the, the um, just getting feedback from like viewers I think is awesome right it's mm-hmm. addictive it's it addictive. is you want oh, I got, wait until they see this and wait until I talk about this and I, I'm gonna show them this and mm. what are they gonna say and I'm, I, I can't I, oh you that, no you're wrong and I just like interacting in, in the comment section with them and just talking mm. to them Mm, yeah, for sure. And, you know, I know exactly how I feel like when comments, when there are comments put on some of my videos, which there have been, not many, but there have been some that say stuff like, you deserve more views, you're a great show, you're a great interviewer. I mean, yeah, it's probably one out of every 1,000 people, but who cares if you, if you, somebody approved of your work. And yeah, I that's how that's we started. Important, you know? Yeah. But it's, it, it's, it's like a drug. It's like, it's addictive. Like, you just, it's kind of crazy when you think about it. Like, it's not like we make huge amounts of money, right? It's not like you make huge amounts of money, but you just keep pumping them out, right? Zero. <laughs> right. Counting. If anything, we probably lose money, right? Mm. Just right. putting time and, and effort and stuff in the show. Like to, to play these games, you have to rent or pay for them or yeah. watch a movie. You got to pay for a movie ticket. And, you know, the return's not financially. There's nothing there. But mm. because you're getting this feedback and it's not like back in the day when there was no YouTube and... You know, probably when you were like 10 years old. <laughs> Actually, yeah. No, when you were like 12, when there was no YouTube, um, where you could just instantly upload your work and then instantly get feedback. Like you'd have to like contact a producer to produce your film or your little video, and like how we're maybe we'll upload it to um, MySpace or like. Uh, it's so like, funny. I remember the first video I ever uploaded to YouTube wasn't Relentless Reviews. I remember I had a CRTV. Do you remember those? Yeah. Like the little. Oh my God! I remember that I put a camera. I put in all this effort on top to make it in a position where it was like in the worst quality possible, but. Because it was like 2007, it was for Call of Duty 4, um, people were like, that's fine, now if you put that on today, 
people will be like, what, what's this crap? What are you putting on there? That's like the worst video I've ever seen. I almost feel like to an extent, I'm not saying that videos like that are should be completely left alone. But, you know, for example, a lot of the videos I put up aren't completely HD. I mean, I can't, I don't have the money <laughs> to do yeah. that. I have to work with what I have and not all of it's HD yet. But luckily, it seems most of my fans don't seem to care. And I think that's kind of the kind of fan base I want to get. I don't want fans that are bipolar. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? So that's what I think about. Uh, it's clearly that kind of experience that's the best of YouTube. So um, now other interests besides video games can be mine or, of course, obviously video games and movies are your biggest thing. Um, it's just, I mean, is politics perhaps? I've, you've mentioned a couple of times on your show, not off, obviously all the time, but you kind of mentioned here there, oh, I'm interested in the JFK controversy. You love the movie JFK. Absolutely. You say Canadian politics are boring, apparently. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It, what about the American politics slightly interests you? Why don't you tell us? I just think it, I don't know how, it's hard to explain. I don't know why American politics well, I guess I do know where, why American politics is so interesting is that your military is just so amazingly huge, right? <laughs> and the money put into, you know, weapons and stuff like that is very interesting to, I, I think, everyone in the world. And I think the power that you got, your government have is very interesting. It's almost like our politicians are not celebrities, but, you know... The American government politicians, they're celebrities. They don't slam the table like our politicians do, basically. That's that's right, and they're just not like – it's like a showman. Like like Arnold became a governor in your country, mm, right? Yeah. <laughs> An act, the Terminator was a governor in your country, right? From what I've heard, not a very good one, but yeah, that's a yeah. opinion. <laughs> yeah. And like in Canada, it's just so boring. <laughs> and like our uh, judicial system is completely different from yours. Mm. You know what's kind of sad, though? Your politicians, because of that, are probably smarter, and they probably have gotten a lot better. For example, my mother would do anything to have your health care system. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I hear that a lot. Like, America. my mother is uh, very opinionated about that kind of stuff, and we, we all love Canada because we've been up there several times, and it, it's just such... It, even though maybe the politics may not be interesting enough... Compared to here, I'm telling you, you're lucky where you are because there are. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, no, I are, agree. There are terrible things that happen down here. I mean, it's not the worst place to live by any means. Now, I actually live in a more peaceful area in the country, but yeah. in some places, right now especially, it's awful. So be lucky for what you have. But that's it's quite an interesting factor. Like, I wonder if you would ever start like a a controversial show where you talk about <laughs> UFOs, <laughs> aliens. Um, you know, sexual preferences. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I already talked about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> conspiracy bites. I could see it now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think another, uh, to answer your question though, why is American government way more interesting? Mm -hmm. What makes a good story, Josh? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I'd say, draw in my opinion, I'd say how attached you are to the characters and how well it's written. Right. And I always say that conflict and, yeah. but, and also what you said, conflict, which the Canadian government, there's nothing happening. There's not, but American government, there's uh, always conflict going on. Yeah. No one can afford a house. We're going to bomb this country, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> right? Like there's always something going on. Like Bill Clinton got a blowjob. Uh, <laughs> if like Stephen Harper got a blowjob here, no one would care. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, oh, yes. Like, You'd speak like an Elcor for Mass Effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Harper did it again. <laughs> Well, you're lucky on that part. We hear it kind of crazy and cuckoo, but um, so but it's like nice. It's entertaining for us to watch because it's not a reality. Mm. So it's just like, mm. no offense to Americans, but oh, it sucks. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I always put world interests now before country interests, and I think anybody who thinks isolationism is the way to go, they're going to be gone. Uh, you you talked about the technology, for example, it's going to advance. Eventually, those the kinds of Americans. I'm not saying that those people are bad necessarily, but that but the religion factor also plays a huge factor here. And if you mess around here religiously, especially with technology in the future, yeah. it's going to be chaos. It, here, it's going to be horrible. Um, yeah. That might be the 2012 thing you're talking about, but anyways. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, like try telling someone from like the deep south with like a pickup truck and a shotgun, like 
you know, we're gonna put a chip underneath your skin. It's gonna be your new debit card. Mm. See, good luck with that. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna. Everyone's gonna like that. Mm, no, for sure. So, um, now before I let you go here, Mike, uh, you've been great about this interview. Waiting, being patient with me. Well, I'm not wearing any pants, so it's a win-win. Mm. Oh, I like that. That made me yeah. hard. Um, <laughs> so. Before I let Jason go in his interview, which was way longer, by the way, he, um, which goes to show who he is, uh, he, I asked him to give me a score for my show, 3KV style. He gave yeah. me, I believe, it was a 7.5, and he said that was, what would you give me from your score? I want to hear, I want a balance here from well, the two, three KV main hosts. Okay, so uh, how would I do it first? Let me think here. <laughs> Okay, uh, so Rel Rel Relentless Reviews, great show. Check him out on YouTube. Link in the under bar. Um, you know, he, he's got some good green screen techniques. He builds up his nice little set. I like that. He tells his reviews, and they are relentless. That's what I love about Joshua. They are relentless. He has some uh, some co-hosts, but they're not. You can tell that Joshua's the most committed. Mm -hmm. And I... I give I give relentless reviews way more than Jay does. A nine out of ten. Well, <laughs> a nine out of ten. That's me, meanwhile, <laughs> it, it's so funny because um, I, I actually think I, I can't remember exactly. I'll have to go back and watch it. But I remember when he was like, eh, "I'll give you seven point five. You're better than most uh, young shows. Obviously, you need to work on your thing." Jason's more critical, it seems, um, and it seems like. I, by the way, Jason says that you have no co-host. Is that true? You have no I one don't, helping you. Well, you know what? I I thought don't. I saw someone else on your show. Well, oh, you're talking about my uh, Battlefield Three, Modern Warfare Three debate. That I brought my. Friend. It's okay. such a funny that's story. I, that's what I mean by your co-host. It's your such friend. it's such a funny story. I brought them on, and they are nothing like me <laughs> uh, in terms of journalism or cameras. They well, yeah, are the most. Tell I could tell, like, you were just like, come on, guys, let's do this. Can you help me out? Yeah, exactly. Uh, they are not comfortable on camera. I It sucks for me, in a way. I just wanted to have other opinions. They never want to come on again. They, really? <laughs> for, oh, no. They. I remember we took a couple of takes to do that, which doesn't sound bad, especially when you guys do, you know, mess arounds all the time on camera. Yeah. But they would not get anything. Like anything, and it, sometimes I, I would tell him, okay, all you have to do is when I tell you, what do you think? You say, okay, I say these things, and they'll go, okay, well, I think these things, and then you pass it back to me. That's all you need to do, and yeah. they would mess up constantly, and then I would say, e I usually only have to do one takes for these, and it got so frustrating. Even my, even a couple of my, um, my workers, my executives I've worked with, yeah. uh, who are very good about this kind of stuff, they told me, don't bring them. <laughs> for our favors, we, we need to get back to our families. And I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> did, you, did you almost rage quit? Um, you know what? I was going to. I The thing that stopped me was my passion and love for the show. That was what stopped. That's what kept me going. That's a good answer. Uh, that it is a damn good answer. Um, <laughs> and guys, sounds so egotistical. It had been calculated prior to this, but <laughs> so.